Hi Patreon! This is your tarot um, lesson on the High Priestess. This is Bobby. He reads cards a little bit different than me and I know I said I'm going to teach you the way I read cards but he's got some better insight sometimes. I learn things from him all the time. What? Say what you need to say. Well and I learn things from her all the time too so <laughs> she's amazing. So yeah. Okay so the High Priestess. The B and the J here mean something and there's a reason why those pillars are different colors. I don't know. I forgot because to me it's not important. Can you shed light on that? The first thing that I picked up on is when you trust your, so the high priestess a lot of the times with our intuition, what I got is that we can kind of, our intuition is there to guide us, but sometimes we'll go to not necessarily the dark side, but the ego side. So I kind of see the B or the dark as our ego and the light here, the wider side, the brighter side would be our intuition. So it's, it's about balance as well. So um, you can keep bitching or you can find your joy. That's good. Thanks. And um, <laughs> un um, embarrassingly, those are my initials, um, my middle or my first name and middle name. BJ? <laughs> Bobby Jason. <laughs> it's okay. They don't mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, the high priestess, that's the main point of the card though is that it's a call for you to follow your gut instincts, okay? Sometimes it's also about prayer, because you see the cross here in the middle of the chest. It's about communication, so communication with the divine, right? Asking for guidance. Asking to receive messages so that you can follow your most divinely guided path. It's also about fertility sometimes. This is the card that says, watch out, you can get pregnant. That's what those, um, I don't know if they're like papayas or what they are, but whatever that crazy fruit is, it's like the womb, okay? Do you have other things to say about this one? Yeah, um, a lot of the times when the high priestess comes up, uh, it can mean if you are overly trying to do something or make something happen, a lot of the times you don't need to do anything because the high priestess doesn't do anything. She is your intuition. She is your gut. And if you see there, she's sitting there very calmly, kind of like a statue because it's all about going within and to trust your inner knowing, you don't have to do anything. And sometimes it takes a moment to, instead of trying to force things to happen, to just sit there and center yourself and trust. Well, and then along with that, it is a number two. So it's like very stable. It's just, you know, sit there. Don't do anything. It's not, a, it's not an action number. It's just like, this is where you're supposed to be right now. If you look, it looks like her legs are crossed. So um, don't confuse like the possibility of getting pregnant with being a hoe either because we definitely have hoe cards in the deck, right? We talk about that a lot. There are. Um, so, <laughs> so it's just like, you know, if you are looking to get pregnant and this card comes up, it's a good time. It's possible. Okay. But if you're not looking for that, be more careful. Um, as we've talked about in different cards, you see the moon here. The moon is always about intuition too. So this card um, can relate maybe to like a cancer or something like that, a water sign sometimes. That's so interesting that you pointed to that because I was going to say that that's what I was staring at. The and then, so her and I are totally in sync right now. Um, I also got when she mentioned fertility, as she was talking about fertility, I was just staring at this moon down here, is that a lot of you might be, for you women or men, however that works as far as like when you're, you know if you are wanting to conceive or have a child is you may be most fertile during these moon cycles. So new moons, full moons, um, that stood out. Yeah. Very good. Um, something weird that you might notice here, you see how our clothes are a different color right there. They're all blue and stuff. And then right here, it's kind of like a green. Um, this could be like, if you're just flipping cards, like, Oh, what can I expect today? This could be a stain on your outfit. Weird, right? But it could be. So when the high priestess is in reverse, what does it mean? You're not following your gut instincts enough. It could also mean that perhaps, like you're not following your guidance, you're not doing what's right for you. It could also mean, um, because this card, this way I forgot to mention, it can be about secrets, right? Um, and it's also saying like you don't need to know what's next. Just trust that what's next is right for you. So when it's this way, it could mean, hey, you know what? Um, some people are talking some smack. Or it could mean, um, you know, like you're being kept in the dark. 
It could also mean you're making bad decisions. It could also mean, what else can it mean? I'm just getting, to, it's almost like somebody who, um, I mean, without sounding general, as far as like not trusting your intuition, it's like going against the grain. Like you're like, what are you doing? You're going, you want to be happy, but you're totally fighting it. This way is going with the flow, and then this way is trying to force stuff that's not meant to be. And so when you continually bump into hurdles, when you have challenges and things, if maybe, and this card shows up, it's saying because you're not doing the right thing for you. They're trying to give you messages, they being God, the law, spirit, angels, whatever you want to say, even friends could be, and you're not listening, and you're just doing things your own way, and that's why this is happening, because you're not supposed to do it that way. You're supposed to let things just kind of flow. Like you said, she's just sitting there and things are happening. But, you know, this card more than anything, just to just to rehash, is about, um, like, your intuition, though. Like, because you see how she's got the Torah here, I think is what that is. Yeah. And she's very serious. Like, she's all about, like, she's got the Torah, but then maybe she's Christian, too, because she has a cross, like, right on her heart. I don't know. Oh, I just... Is she Jew? Maybe that's what it's saying. Like, I mean, look at this. This is like the crescent moon of Islam. This is the, the cross of Christ, and this is the Torah. I just noticed that now. Maybe it's like whatever religion you are, it doesn't matter, because, you know, we all have the same God. It's all monotheism. So, point is, trust in that, because you're, you're regardless of religion, they're trying to send you messages through here, through this big circle on the top of your head, and that's what you need to follow. No matter what, where it comes from, right? Anything else to say about this one? No, except I'm sitting just like her. <laughs> Look, <laughs> and my legs crossed. <laughs> but he is a hoe. Just anyway. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>